Hey, this is Lady C. I got a question the other day. What is the difference between highlighting text and selecting text in Microsoft Word? Okay, take a look at my screen. I have some sample text here. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is kind of talk about what highlighting text is. And all we're going to do is just scan your eye up here to the ribbon, and you're going to see a font grouping. You're going to notice that there's a button, and it's got like a little yellow swatch at the bottom. If I hover my mouse over that button, it shows text highlight color. But there's also a down arrow next to this button. Click on the down arrow. And you're going to notice that you can actually highlight text in any of these colors. I'm going to choose yellow. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to drag the mouse to select the area of our document that we want to place this yellow text. So I'm just going to do the first paragraph here and just kind of like click and hold and drag down. Once I release my mouse, notice how the text in Microsoft Word takes on the color of the highlighting. So this is a way that you can actually select certain text that you want to come back and look at later. And most people are familiar with highlighting when they're working with their homework assignments and stuff like that, and they're reading something in a book, and they want to highlight specific areas of interest, okay? So once you're done highlighting the text that you want to highlight in the document, you need to go back up to that button and click on it to turn it off because it acts like a toggle button. If you click the button one time, it turns it on. And if you click it again, it turns it off. Okay, now let's say you highlighted this text by mistake and you don't want this color to appear on your text. So all you have to do is simply just select that text, go back up here to the color swatch, click on the drop down arrow, and then choose no color. And then it just turns that color off. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about selecting text. Now, it's very important that you understand that selecting text is so important in word processing, especially in Microsoft Word, because Microsoft Word takes all of its instructions based on how you select the text. So for instance, if I wanna make a change to the text chapter one, I have to select the text first. So there's a couple of different ways that you can select this text. I can position my mouse pointer so that it appears in front of the text with the right pointing arrow on that line. Once I click the mouse, it selects that line. Okay, now I'm gonna deselect the text. And the other way that you can select chapter one is to position your mouse pointer right in front of the C in chapter, click and hold and drag to the right. That will also select that text. And now you're gonna notice this little miniature toolbar showing up here, and you're gonna see that you can make some changes to the text. If I wanna go in here and change the font color, I can click on the drop down arrow, choose one of these colors. I can make the text bold, italics, or underscore. I can change the font, click on the drop down arrow, choose one of the fonts. I can also change the size of this text. So notice how I made all of these changes just by selecting the text one time. So that's why it's so important that you understand how to select the text. Okay, so now, there's other things that you can do when you're working with selecting text. Like if I only want to select one word, I just position my mouse pointer in the word and double click. If I want to select an entire paragraph, I position my mouse pointer in the paragraph and triple click. If I want to select the entire document, all I got to do is position my mouse pointer so that, it's, that the pointer is pointing to the right in the document and then triple click outside. It selects the whole document. I'm going to deselect now. If I want to select the whole document using the keyboard, I can just choose Control A to select that whole document. You scroll down and you'll notice that all the text is selected. Another thing that you can do sometimes, people may not want to select the whole document. 
and they want to just select portions of the document and they begin to select the document and then all of a sudden the mouse just gets carried away and starts running down the page. Okay, we don't want that. So what you could do is you could position your mouse pointer where you want to start the selection. Click, you got the blinking insertion point. Then you can just go down as far as you want to go in your document to select the text. Once you get to the ending point, hold down the shift key on the keyboard and click after the last word. And what that does is it allows you to control how you select your text. But what you have to keep in mind is you have to select the text before you give the computer instructions on what to do. One last tip. You're going to notice how you see these paragraph symbols and all these little dots that represent spaces in your document. And the way you turn it on or off, right now it's actually on, the way you're going to turn it off is you're going to go to the paragraph grouping on the ribbon on the home tab. And you see that little paragraph symbol? It's called show hide. Once you click on that, it turns those off. If you click on it again, it turns it back on. And I'll be covering another video about this show hide button in a future video. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. And we'll talk more about how that works. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed these tips and realize the differences between highlighting versus selecting text. If you enjoyed these tips, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you on the next episode. Oh,